What's up, man? It is Nick here. What's up, Mountain Dew 550 fans? It is Zach and Nick here. It, coming. It's always Nick here. There's. It's always Nick here. Yes, that's. But we are coming to well you with the fact. second edition, not the first, not the third, but the second edition of MD 550 Opinion Corner. Now, Zach. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, as you see in the title below, we are talking about what school subject is the most important just mm. for life. And uh, that's a very interesting question. A lot of people um, have talked about it and there's arguments for all different subjects. And for this video, we'll focus on the four major ones taught in school now, which are math, English, social studies, slash history. Well, history. 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 And um, science. But then there's other um, topics that can be talked about, especially with these new computer subjects. So I'll let Nick talk first and give his take on it. Well, the way I see it, you have the humanitarian ones, which are obviously history and English, and then the more what we practical scientific ones, math and science. And they go really hand in hand because you can't know one thing without the other because you wouldn't be a well-rounded person at all you just be either a robot or some guy who just reads books in his basement all day so the way I think of it is you need that good balance and what I see from math mainly is that it's really practical you know you get basic skills you learn how to think like logistically and you're able to it does help in the real world as much as kids complain that it will never help them it will and science I see as a general knowledge of what's around you, the um, organic life, I guess, and like physics and stuff and all that. But then on the other hand, you have history, which if you don't learn history, you're doomed to repeat it. And you just learn about things that have happened, mistakes, successes, triumphs, all that. And you can replicate that and learn from that. And then we get to English, which is just like, you know, you get to learn so much it's i think that's the most diverse one to be honest because mm -hmm. yes yeah, so yeah you can help me how out would you that. how would you in your opinion rank those four in order of importance mm, we'll see it really depends on the person and what they want to do and who they are just if you had to change this from being subjective to objective in your objective opinion how would you rank these okay i would probably have to go with math being the first one, the most important, because even though on the surface it's numbers and meaningless to a lot of people, those numbers are just a placeholder for really anything. They, It's a system of how to think. It's not just finding out what X is or finding out what Y is. It's really just a system of how to get your brain working at, while using these simulations to try to figure that out. And after that, I'd have to go with English because you know you have to be well-rounded you have to know all different stuff you have to know how to write and read obviously and then I'd go with history because just like English it keeps you in the know and you learn from it pretty good about who you can be as a person as well as just facts well not just for the sake of knowing facts but for the sake of improving off of them and then lastly I'd go with science and I put that last because I just feel like, you know, science is a more factual and, like, less applicable to other things in life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're not going to need to know about the different bacterium in your body to build a house or, like, you know, pay your taxes or something like that. Yeah, this is a very interesting discussion, and I'll just run through what I think of each of the four subjects real quick. I think Nick covered a lot of it. But uh, my rankings are slightly different, but before I get into the rankings, let's go through each one. Obviously, I'll start with math too. Um, I think that math is a very, very practical thing, both for stuff you can use in the real world, especially those basic things you learn in like first grade, addition, subtraction, how to read a clock, things like that. But when you move up, the thing about math is it gets you to think and know how to problem solve and look at a problem and go through it step by step. And that's a skill you really need in the real world, along with, um, it actually is very applicable and can save you money in terms of not having to hire someone to file your own taxes, or learning how to pay your mortgage by yourself, or stuff like that. Those are complex equations and percents and all that. If you have a real strong grasp of math with you are able to do, 
along with just being able to problem solve like I said earlier so I think it's very important English obviously you need to know how to write you need to know how to read but you need to know how to do both well in this world especially now where you've got to market yourself and I think it's really good for just it's it's a relaxing subject you're able well there's Rick but you're able to be creative you're able yeah, to okay. express yourself and your ideas and I hate that phrase you gotta express yourself but you gotta express yourself sometimes and that's what English does and it allows you to get your creativity and flow out on um, while well, gaining insight on other people's social uh, history if we get into history you know I think it's very important to not only know your history but formulate your own opinion and your own kind of political agenda yeah I actually didn't touch on that at all because I agree with that that is very important especially when you are 18 do you want to just vote blindly or say I like this or my parents were this or do you want to form your own opinion or do you want to be the guy on the street where when Jimmy Kimmel asks you mm -hmm. what war did Abraham Lincoln serve in and the guy says World War two you don't want that to be you okay yeah you really don't <laughs> and then science um very important to know you stop? the world around you, how things work, but as Nick said, it is very factual, and there's a lot of ethics involved in it. I feel like it's become more of a, you're either religious or you're scientific kind of mindset, and that's not true at all. Anybody can be scientific, and religion and science aren't complete polar opposites at all, and I think the school is trying to push that agenda, but then when they say that, it's almost like they're directing it at the religious people, trying to make them feel guilty of it, instead of realizing that it's a two-way street, you know? The science people are putting a lot of pressure on religious people, and I think some of the things for science are kind of useless to study, especially when we're putting billions for the average of dollars, person. when we're putting millions of dollars into experiments that won't really help us. Granted, a lot of stuff does, and I think that some of the theories of science like what, aren't very true sometimes. I feel like what logical. science should do is that should be offered to higher level students or students who want to pursue science. So that way they can just go down that path of the more advanced stuff that the normal kid doesn't need to know. So that way they can go off to be their biologist or whatever they want to be. So obviously, um, I, I like science a lot, but you can tell I'm putting it at number four for those reasons. Um, I would either put... This is a very tough one. I'm going to put history third, though, because I think that you can get by in life without knowing your history very well. It's kind of more of a factual thing, but I think it's very helpful and useful. I'm going to put math second, because just like, just like English, you can get this away in life without being nerves. very, very good at math, as long as you know the basics of it. English, I think, is the most important. You need to know how to read and write in this world, and you need to sometimes, sometimes just being able to put out your own ideas and see other people's ideas is something that you just need as a human being. And that's that's why I think English is the most important. But, um, son, we talked about when we were making this video is, what about other subjects, smaller subjects, or especially in this technology computer field? Are those going to be not only regular school subjects coming up, but, um, the school subjects that will be the most important in this new world. I mean, today I just took my first ever AP test, and it was for a computer science class. So, you know, that's it could very well change soon. We could have five major subjects now, so you never know. You never know. They may take us over, too, but that's for another opinion corner. These robots, man. Check out our first opinion corner. We kind of touched on that a little bit. So, do you have anything else to add? I think this video is done. I think this video is done. Thank Except for, for the fact that you need to tell us your opinion, because it's not an opinion corner, exactly. but the opinion of the cornerstone of our channel, which is the fans. And the clowns. But, um, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Please share, subscribe, join the Mountain Dew 5150 train, and we will see you next time. Have Adios. a decent life. Not an epic life, but a decent life. Yes.